Hey everyone, shortly after recording the last video about how the aim is to grind away and get a bit more money, I thought um, this might be quite useful. I was running another encounter and when I refresh my encounters uh, for Patriotism Advanced popped up. Um, now this is the last one I need in order to get the full for <coughs> full full Patriotism mission. Um, the advantage here is it's two and a half million isk. Now it now recommends a T7 battle cruiser to do it, and I'm in a T5 cruiser. Since the update, I've not had a go at these, so first you're going to see how it is and whether it is even manageable. Second, for all those newbies, this is in low sec. Um, it's 10 jumps away from where I was. Well worth it was to get that and then also get the mission item, which I'll probably intend to sell. It means I can make a decent chunk of isk from that if I survive. So I've just got into system. Um, I am not going to warp. It gave me the option to go straight to the anomaly. I'm not going to. Uh, here's for patriotism. The advantage that you are in low sec, but you can't be ganked because no one else can see this one. Don't go do other anomalies. That is how you definitely get killed by the people who've got better ships than you. That's what I do to other people all the time. If you just do the poor patriotism and leave, there is a station, which means you're safe, in the sense that you can get out to the station if you have to, to, to recover. I'm going to warp in, I'm going to warp in at mm, probably slightly safer at 50. Let's check it out, see how what the waves are like, what the rats are like, and let's see how it works. Okay, so we've got three cruisers and a Ferox, and they're all tier seven, so it's one tier higher than we've just been dealing with. Um, I'm being yellow boxed by them. Let's see who is the E War. So it's one of the cruisers. That's the one we're going to go for first. Uh, I'm going to pop the afterburner. And let's see what happens. Again, the E-War they're deploying on me, actually this doesn't bother me too much, is the guidance disruption, not using missiles, that doesn't affect me. Um, and the NOS, but I'm going to stay far enough away that the NOS doesn't affect me either. So I've started to hit. I'm going to wait till I'm a little bit closer. Yep. And I'll pop my heat sinks. I wouldn't have to target the E1, E1 one first in this type of wave, it depends what they've got. Um, but I'm going to deal with it first, it's just generally good practice for some of they've got other things. Um, I am being hit by something a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. Um, hopefully none of these carry disruptors and I will be able to keep well away from everyone. If anyone looks like they're completely burning towards me, I switch targets and I'll go for whoever's coming closest. But it's clearly this one, and I'll switch to one of the other blackbirds. I've recorded it, started recording this just at the start of it, so let's see how long it takes me to do as well. Again, just I'm just in an omen. Uh, watch the first video and what I'm doing in order to grind away, um, but you can see my fittings. Yeah, it's straightforward. It's a DPS built omen, so I can't tank anything hugely. Uh, I'm going to cut the afterburner at this point because I don't want to completely destroy my cap. Yeah, so for those who haven't watched it yet, I have got an armor repairer, but it's not. Um, I'm not going to. I can't. I can't tank. This is just to help out a little bit. If I start taking a huge ton of damage, I'll have to pop out to the station, um, repair, and do it that way as you do some of the bigger missions. Um, not had a go at these yet uh, since the update, so with the new dynamic rat fleets, I don't really know what it's going to be like. But clearly, I want my two and a half million reward. Um, 
and I suspect the bounties of course are going to be better off these ones as well. Yeah, so 95,000 for the blackbirds. So, you know, you make some decent bounties off them. Uh, the T7, so the loot should also be better. Um, but they are certainly damaging me. A little bit more than the regular encounters I was talking about. Okay, so they've hit me into armour. That black word's getting really close to me, actually. That could have been my fault. I could have stopped my orbit somehow. So I'm pop the armour repair it. See if I can get away to a safer distance. See if I can heal my armour. If I can't, I'll warp out. So the armor's going to be repaired at the end of that tick. If you remember, the armor, armor repair is repair at the end, whereas shield repair boosters repair at the moment you press it. So something you always got to bear in mind with the armor. Armor tanking, in my view, isn't better than shield. Just this omen is definitely an armor tank. Um, so yeah, the ferrox is doing a fair bit of damage to me. I'm not still going to pop the heat sinks yet. I do. I will use them, but I want to be a bit closer. I'll put the armour repairer for a bit. Again, it's no real threat. I reckon, you know, I could probably take it to half, two thirds before I think about warping out. Of course, it'll depend on the waves as they come. Equally, if the next wave spawns far too close to me, I don't need it anymore. Now I'm at 35, so if it spawns too close to me, I'll, um, I'll warp out as well. So it's five in this wave. They're a good distance. I've got an Osprey, one of the um, covert ops is targeting me. Let's see if anyone's burning towards me. I'm probably going to pop to the station at the moment because the cap's getting a bit low, I'm taking some fairly chunky hits from the Ferox. Um, and I'll probably do it before as the next wave spawns in, see if I can get this Ferox down. The only problem is when the cap's this low, I don't want to use the um, heat sinks for the extra damage because I need enough, obviously, fire lasers run the arm repairer and warp out still. In fact, my cap is 
gun back up enough um, from dealing with this black boat, which isn't dealing as anyone knows much damage. Um, that will probably just see what's going to happen. Again, I'm not popping the heat sink, so they'll probably want to count to do it, um, because just in case. So I don't really know what yet to expect, so I don't. It's a better safe than sorry approach. Okay, here it goes down. I'll take the armor repair off. Let's see what spawns in next. That's a bit closer than I would have wanted. Uh, core axes. And they have scrammed me. So I'm going to focus on that one. Orbit. Um, that's a disrupt, so it's going to be um, 26k. And he's burning in quite fast. I'm not worried, but I'm going to take him out. Um, but bear in mind. We could probably pop the afterburner and try burn away from him. Actually, going to pop the heat sinks and try and take him out quickly. It's so good to know. In these, now you do get warp disrupts. Luckily, there isn't a web on me, which would be the other thing that would considerably concern me. So he's down. I'm actually going to focus on the other core racks. Just check if there's any loot I can get to go around. Again, actually, I'm not taking any real hits. I'm going to come close to this blackbird, which is less than ideal, but I'm not. Again, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Oh, it's the one with the nose, so I might, I might start worrying about it in a moment. <laughs> uh, but the cat looks pretty stable. Damage is fine. Yeah, it's okay. And you see my drones dispatched onto the. So, nice tick of damage, but that, that was including previous um, ones. A bit bigger than the last one, 790. So, you know, a little bit. All works towards it, let's see. Yeah, we're up to 33 million, so. We're on the way. This blackbird looks like it's going to go down pretty quick. Again, I'm doing this in an omen. So it's, yeah, it's a T5 cruiser. Um, as soon as I get myself into an omen navy, easier, quicker on this. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with this. I think you've got to remember when you're doing it, anoms like this, especially when you now you've got to expect the warp disruption and the warp scrambling. So I run an afterburner, not a micro warp drive, um, because if they if they warp scramble you, you don't get um, your micro warp drive won't work. Um, it's just expect it and deal with it. Um, I was confident from the previous two waves I can tank the level sevens sufficiently I and mean, obviously if it spawned in 50 I might have been doomed um, but it didn't um, I can tell you now I'm not going to jump back into them but um, this one disaster relief the changes in the dynamic fleet are very surprising it's very difficult to deal with now um, so you jump when you when I was jumped in to what I could easily do previously in a, in a, in a battleship um, not a battleship, sorry, that's a different old. You know, what I could do in a um, in a navy issue, um, I couldn't do. And in fact, I got um, triple webbed and triple scrammed and could do absolutely nothing as I watched my ship get destroyed. So that's something to bear in mind, um, which is why at the moment I'm planning on 
selling the missions for the ISK rather than doing them, which of course you make more risk doing them, but at the moment I just don't think the higher tier ones are sellable in these types of vessels. Um, I think, you know, you're going to definitely need faction to do it. Um, and some of the you know, better placed battleships like the Prophecy might still be able to do it because of its range. <laughs> 